So, the next one, quizity quiz quiz. The fourth one, I guess. But it's amazing. I mean, I'm learning stuff. It's funny money. And, um, no, it's not money. It's not any money. I'm not making any money here. But it's funny, though. So, fuck yeah. <laughs> Which of these compliments a pork roast well? Apples, onions, sweet potatoes. All of the above. Fuck yeah. I do, but I wonder what my score is going to be. It's probably going to be not good. But yeah. Anyway. Which of these does not belong in a key lime pie? Egg yolks, lemon zest, lime juice, graham cracker crumbs, lemon zest. Yeah, because it's a fucking lime pie, motherfuckers. <laughs> if you're trying to reduce, what are you doing? Decluttering, losing weight, composting, saving income. What reduce? You could reduce quite a lot of things. You know, you could reduce the sauce or you could reduce some watery stuff to a sauce. For example, composting, losing weight, declutter, saving income, losing weight to reduce, to reduce what? Reducing was mid 20th century speak for losing weight. Okay, I see. I see it's old uh, things. I don't know. Which of these is a good way to clean a burnt plan, pan? I'm sorry. Rub it with vinegar, simmer it, simmer a bit of water and dish soap in it, simmer a bit of lemon and water in it, rub sand vigorously on it. I mean, it depends on the pan, you know, if it is just coated with something, then please don't use any sand or whatnot. But rub it with vinegar, simmer a bit of lemon and water, simmer a bit of water and dish soap. Let's just do this. Actually, it's the right one. Cool. Top. 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 How often should the toilet be cleaned? Uh, twice a week. Once per day. Who the fuck is doing that? Nobody. Right. Which of these can restore copper to its original brightness? Coca-Cola, ketchup and salt, apple cider vinegar, Play-Doh, baking soda and water. What ketchup and salt? The 1950s were a peak time for ketchup. People put it on all kinds of meat, including steak. We're not sure though who decided to rub it on grandma's copper pots, but it works. I do wonder. You know, probably the acidity of ketchup, because it is a little bit just acidity. Or acid, acid, acidity. Well, you know what I mean. Whatever the adjective there is, it is ketchup. A mixture of lemon juice and water is good for removing what kind of stains? Wine, wine. Sweat, what the fuck? <laughs> this mild solution won't help with blood, wine, tomato sauce or things like that, but it is good for getting out the dark stains on the armpit areas of your shirts. The more I know, you know, the more I know that I don't need. Uh, no, and we are not in school here. What is important when sewing a button on, making an X pattern? Why am I so bad now? Keeping the knots on the correct side of the fabric. Yeah, okay. True or false, you should button shirts closed before washing them. False, don't do that. Cutting and serving an angle, f an is it angle or angel? Food, food cake, you'll need a... Cake breaker, mandolin, cookie press, or serrated knife. Serrated knife. Fuck you. Cake baker. This comchade item was used for cutting soft and del delicate cakes. If you tried uh, to use a regular knife, you risk squishing the cake. Yeah, this is the reason why you, also for cutting tomatoes, for example, use a serrated knife. It's gonna be better. You know, some bread knife or whatever serrated knife you're having laying around. Uh, use this one. It's better than just the flat one, or just the quote-unquote regular one. Unless it's it's really sharp, then of course, you don't need one, but... You know, yeah. Need a little ice for your drink, you'll need an ice sieve, either pet or pick. Either pet or pick. <laughs> Actually, not that bad. 63%. You know, still below average with 72%, but, but it is fine. It is fine. So what's gonna be the next one? Do you know these home building fundamentals? The homeowner's quiz? The home and garden quiz. Can you answer these questions every homeowner should know? I don't own a home, so... Can you identify these everyday home items? Yes, this is what we're gonna do. Because maybe I can learn something there as well. It's gonna be a little... Uh, <laughs> just... Yeah. Well, let's do it. You know, maybe, maybe I'm gonna stop if it is too easy. This item can really change the things you see. What is it? A remote control. If you can live without the nectar of the goods, you most likely use which of these items every single morning? Coffee maker. 
Well, I'm, I'm gonna just take another one. <laughs> I feel it is a little bit underestimating my abilities. Even if it's probably not. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Pretend you're rich as fuck and you'll show... And we'll show you your perfect home. Can you identify these basic features actual adults should know? Can you identify these vintage household items? Th this is interesting. You know? Also just... As I'm already seeing this picture there. Some some draw uh, blow drying head condom. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Before your whirlpool was whirling your items around, this is what was used to get a deep clean. Can you identify it? It's a washboard. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking washboard. This is what I know, motherfucker. Dust collects on almost every surface in a home. Which item below really dug deep and released the beasts? Uh, which is a carpet pe carpet beater. Cool. This is a sewing machine. I don't even have to kind of read anything. If your life is feeling stale, you need one of these vintage items. Which one is it? It's always a good thing to look at this picture. And this picture does just not tell me anything. What is this? I don't fucking know what this is. Uh, but, but, you know, let, let's see. I don't... <laughs> what could it be? Freezer, it's a bread box. And it is a fucking bread box. They look pretty cool, by the way. At this point of time, I have also seen some pretty cool ones. Uh, probably from Ikea or some shit. Um, by the way, Ikea actually does make pretty cool things from time to time. Not always. But, you know, the design is actually pretty great. Often. Yeah. What's going on there? I'm suddenly getting just a fucking trillion messages. Uh, well, uh... Well, any fucking way. This is a... You know what? I'm gonna take something different. I know I'm gonna... It's not a fucking hair dryer. Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't act like you know shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is a hair dryer, but if you just pick the wrong answer, then you're also just dumb as shit. Like me, so welcome to the club. This item provided the air needs to grow something big and strong, which is a fucking airstream. What is it? An airstream, bellows, accordion, airstream, bellows. I don't know what a bellows is, but I think it is for uh, fire. <laughs> I'm getting so many messages right now, and actually not that unimportant ones. But I wonder, I do just have to check, because I wonder why I haven't seen them, to be honest. For, they are pretty fucking old, but I didn't get all the fucking shit. Ah, well, anyway. Anyway, any, any, anyway. Young boys were often tasked with this chore. Uh, push lawnmower. The thing is, it is, um, it is not even just mowing the lawn. It is just pushing it. <laughs> it's just pushing this fucking thing. Y you don't do anything, you know, you're not doing anything. Uh, but you're just pushing it, you know, mindlessly all fucking day. Gather your thoughts and put... Uh, pen to paper, okay? Well, sort of, which item below help people express themselves? Typewriter, as the fucking font, which sometimes can be pretty cool, most often don't fucking use it. This looks nothing like the digital version, it's a scale. This is, I'm not gonna read things, well, I'm gonna. Which horn-like household item encouraged you, dancing shoes, a glass of bubbly and good friends to be fully enjoyed? Uh, it's a phonograph, I think, yes, it is. This is a coffee grinder. I'm sorry, this one is still around, although now it is a little more futuristic. But I like this style. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really like this. I would like to have one of these just laying around laying around at home. And then have some sort of a just... I don't know what it's called. I think it is a French press. But with the machine, you know, you have this little pot. And you put in the coffee. And then you just tuck it into the machine once again. And then coffee can be made. If you understand what I mean. You know, I think... Uh, Starbucks is using them, or all the other just barista things are using them. I don't know. You didn't, you didn't so much put the stuff in it like we do now, but it definitely did the crispy trick you know and love. What is it? Looks like a toaster. This looks kind of cool. I mean, it is very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous, you know, because it's going to be pretty hot. But, but just have a look at it. I mean... It's kind of fancy, isn't it? I think it's cool. I wouldn't mind having one of these. Quite. Of course, 
it is dangerous. Of course, they're not gonna sell it at this point in time. Um, anyway. Which item was not known by this name in the early 20th century when it was keeping things cool? Salt, chest, icebox, freezer, chiller. Uh, freezer? Icebox. Hmm, anyway. Uh, way before cell phones, people needed other ways to organize their contacts. Can you name the one that was more fun to play with? Business card box, file folder, Rolodex, or index? I'm going to go for Rolodex. And it is actually the right thing. Why do I get so many messages? <laughs> Most people use their pursed lips and little exhale for this now. But back in the day, there was a tool specifically for putting these out what is it it's a fire extinguisher a candle snuffer yes you know you use it to just get rid of them and shit and stuff motherfucker yeah and this is gonna be the last one put your pen down and really think about this one which vintage household item was worth writing home about inkwell it's a pen holder what is inkwell an inkwell was crucial when writing with quills uh with quills was the most common method People have them as collectibles or simply to be vintage. Chick. Uh, they were made out of lots of different materials depending on your budget or status. So is there actually some ink in it or is it just to just be there? I think it's actually inked. I don't know, but it looks kind of fancy. Anyway, I just really truly enjoy these episodes so much. It's insane. Um... I wish you the best health, happiness, and all success, and also hope that you're gonna remind yourself and you're gonna be remembered, which basically means your legacy basically means just being a nice person, and then also being remembered as a nice person is a pretty cool thing. And yeah, I I I have three other questions for you, which are why are you here? What are you trying to change? And what is bothering you the most, which um, is hopefully gonna show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is a pretty cool thing. Another question that I'm having for you, which is a very important one, at least at my point of view, what could you do, say? essentially say or make or create or whatever but essentially say that is really going to make somebody's day because i totally believe from the bottom of my heart that we call that we all can say something to somebody but it should be honest that is really going to make that day and really going to make them happy but yeah with that being said please stay healthy and i by the way also hope that you're healthy and you know do well be a nice person be a kind person and um we hope we're gonna see you know and i'm also gonna see you the next time so Bye bye. And thank you very much for staying here with me and going through this quiz with me. I do hope that you've always been able to learn some things as I did. And so, yeah. Bye bye.